Hello, today I will show you how to do a factory reset on an HTC 8X Windows phone. Sometimes you might face an issue of a continuous reboot uh, in an HTC 8X wherein the phone doesn't uh, power off completely but it keeps on restarting. You cannot go to the Windows home screen uh, or you know you cannot actually switch it off and it just keeps on rebooting. I had this problem in my phone when I got it once and I did a factory reset which solved that problem. I have a blog post on it which I have posted and I'll uh, you know uh, share that link uh, in the comments of this video. So now I'll show you how to do a factory reset on this 8x phone. This phone doesn't have the issue of uh, a continuous reboot. Uh, this is a working phone, but I can definitely show you the concepts and how to you know get it started. Now I have uh, charged this. This is uh, charging. If your phone is completely drained out after in a re continuous reboot issue, you might want to keep it charged in. So this should, should show up, which shows that this is charging. Now I'll you know power it off, and I will switch it off. So, okay, let me switch off. Now, when you switch off the phone, it takes around eight seconds to switch it off. Now, because it is charging, it will restart again. So I'll just remove the charge for now to show you how to, you know, uh, get it started. Uh, what I'll do is I'll keep the volume down button pressed. This is the volume function, volume down, volume up and the power button. I'll keep the volume down button pressed and uh, once the phone is rebooting it you know there is a vibration that occurs when the phone is restarting within you know within a range of three to seven seconds if you press the power power button briefly you should get the exclamation icon which is the starting point for your factory reset so let me charge this when i charge this when i start the charge of this button of this phone the phone will will reboot uh, so i'll get a vibration I'll start the charge. I'll keep the volume down. The vibration came. Wait for four seconds. Press the power out down button and leave it. The volume down button is continuously pressed. So after the vibration, you can actually count one, two, three, four, uh, five, and you know press the power round button. So here you go. Here is the exclamation mark. Now if I press the volume up, the volume down and the power button and then again the volume down it will do a factory reset i'll show you that in a minute let me bring the exclamation mark again and show you how to bring that up so i'll i'll cancel this uh, factory reset for now press this for 10 or 15 seconds yeah uh, this is in charge it again started so now I'll press this and I'll press the power button briefly and it will come again. The key to, to key point to remember is to keep the power volume down button pressed and press the power button briefly. And once the exclamation icon, you, you get it, you can leave it and leave it like this. Here is your factory reset mode again. I'll press the volume up, the volume down, the power button and the volume down. Now it will reboot again and it will uh, go in a factory reset mode, which you will see in a minute. It shows a different uh, icon. So let's give it a minute. In a reset, you know, in a continuous reboot, the time window for you to press this power is very brief. So make sure that you keep the volume down button pressed and wait for a couple of seconds after the vibration and press the power down button you should you know and in certain instances you should be able to get uh, the exclamation icon i had to you know uh, i had done around six or seven attempts to get that icon once the reset was done my my pro you know my phone started working great i am still using it so there you go here's the factory reset this can take anywhere between one minute two minutes to you know um, to 10 or 15 minutes so have patience this can can take time as well uh, because this is you know i've tried it a couple of times there is no much data in it it's kind of very neat and clean it takes um, you know hardly two to three minutes for this reset yeah all the best uh, for doing a factory reset and thank you for watching